Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Uh, today, as you can see, it's not a Star Wars build, it's another Thomas the Tank Engine or Thomas and Friends build. It is a troublesome truck. I had a lot of fun designing this very simple build. Um, it took me a little bit just to decide how I wanted to do uh, the walls because I ended up choosing the masonry brick as you'll see as I walk through it. Uh, even though I really kind of didn't want to, I liked it and I didn't. It's a very basic build, so there's not much to really talk about, because in all honesty, it is just an open rectangle. Um, as you can see here on the sides, if I can get the light, yeah, there you go, off of it. I think those lines here are represented very well. When you look at a couple, when I looked at a couple kind of stock photos, uh, without, you know, putting bricks and tiles on the side here, this was the best design, and I really like it because it's just simple. Um, and why do I like it simple? Because simple... Doesn't mean if I want to create, you know, if I want to create like 20 of these, it's not going to be too hard to do that. Um, now, later on down the road, if I want to make like 20 and I say, hey, let's add more detail, I can. But it's very simple. And another reason is, uh, so anyone out there who wants to create one doesn't have to go off the walls crazy uh, with all the parts. Um, and you just need that to make very nice detailing on the side. The buffer designs are the same, as well as the coupling points on the front and on the back. You'll notice on all my builds I'm using the uh, latest Harry Potter Hogwarts Express coupling system, not the Lego City connect it, uh, connection of the coupling system. I don't know why, I just really like this a lot better, and for right now that's what I'm going to be sticking with. <clears throat> if you kind of look on the inside here, you can see when the truck is empty, you can see the masonry side of these bricks, which is my only reason for not wanting to use this brick, but I think it's still... Looks good, in all honesty, if it's going by, you know, you have it filled, or if I put something to cover up, you know, the top, you're not really going to notice it or see it, so it wasn't that big of a deal for me. Um, and even having it empty, that's alright, it just looks like maybe some wear and tear on this in the inside of the truck after having a whole bunch of goods uh, transported in it. Uh, another point to talk about is the top here. I tiled it. Originally, I wasn't going to do any... Well, actually, no, I lied. I've always wanted to put something on top when I was designing it. I didn't think the plain old studs would look good. And then I ended up using these two jumper plates, or four total, but two on each end. That way, if I ever have some cloth, or even if I can, I can do the old-fashioned trick of instead of having a full truck, I just got to put a plate on top. You know what I mean? Kind of give that trick, even though I probably should move those in if I do that. But... It just makes it really easy, and it just adds enough detail to the truck. Lastly, we do have the face. I went for something different. Obviously, the truck's faces are square, so that's what I did. I tried a 2x2 two two jumper plate instead of a 1x2. I think it works pretty well. Um, I mean, I've messed around with both. Uh, there's advantages to having uh, both types, but uh, this is the one I went with. I like the cheeks, kind of. Uh, you know, they kind of puff out a little bit on the side. I think it gives that characteristic of the trucks, you know, when they have that big grin on their face, or they're laughing. They have kind of that big open mouth, and I think it really represents that. And I just used a simple 1x2 black tile for the mouth. Obviously, I'm going to start using uh, different uh, parts to make the mouth, but I think just kind of starting off with something basic for the first one works very well. So that's all. Uh, again, it wasn't a crazy build up and insane, since it, this was a pretty short video for my Thomas and Friends kind of uh, creations. I am going to have one or two photos at the end of this, not of this truck, but of some future projects that I'm working on that are currently, like I said, that I'm working on currently uh, in the building process. So uh, I want to thank you all for watching. If you haven't, check out my James uh, my Donald slash Douglas video, as well as my little narrow gauge steam engines that aren't from the Thomas and Friends universe. So, please rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.